Custom PCs are the reason why I am an engineer. He's a content creator. This guy is a web and game developer, and that guy likes training AI models to get cat videos on his feet. <laughs> Hello, internet. Now I know why most people associate custom PCs with gaming. It couldn't be further from that reality. Now the goal here is simple. Your computer should last you for five years, not only for the environment but also to save you some money. Now imagine buying a new computer every year. <laughs> That would be expensive, right? Oh wait, you're buying it already? No. Then how are you watching this video? Oh, so you didn't know? Yes, your phone is a computer. No, it's not made for editing videos. You can only watch them. Now let's recap third grade computer science. Now the CPU is the brain of your computer. And what goes in your PC is called an x86 CPU. And what's in your phone is an ARM CPU. But ARM CPUs cannot be compared to a brain. It's more of an arm. It's made to do specific things with maximum efficiency. x86 CPUs are actually like a brain. It can control four arms, handle complex problems, and land a person on the moon. Now my point is, please don't fall into the trap of buying smartphones for intensive tasks, gaming included. But what about consoles? They're made for gaming. Yeah, sure, consoles are great for gaming, but that's where the story ends. This is all you can do with a console, but this is what you can do with a PC. I'll just buy a cheap notebook for work. Now let me tell you a short story. Person A buys a 400 rupee slipper for his work because it's cheap. Person B buys 1000 rupees booze instead. And then every monsoon because of the rain, person A ends up buying new slippers, ultimately spending more than person B. This notebook is your slipper. <laughs> Fine, I know sometimes you need that portability. So here's a good option, a laptop with a dedicated GPU. Don't you call that a gaming laptop? There, there is, is no, no such thing, thing as, as a gaming, gaming laptop. laptop. Anyways, look at what's written here. It says i7 inside. Wow, what a deal, right? The funny thing is, there are more than hundreds of i7s and they don't really tell you which one you're getting, so... Abhi, ye dek bell ka na gaming laptop. Achha, switch ke? Ah, abhi bata raha hu, ek second. Mil nahi raha hai. Abhi, jaldi bol kal subhe panwel nikal raha hai. Haan, mil gaya, mil gaya. 15.6 inch ka screen and RGB keyboard. But hey, the great thing is that I can get up whenever I want and take this with... This is the PC Master Race, the video you're watching, the website you're on, the game you played, the phone you're using. Heck, the house you are in and the entire city around you was designed on a freaking PC. Now, imagine a world where you get to pick and choose every single part of your computer. Want a GPU for high-end gaming? It's cheaper than a console. How about 128 GB of RAM for opening infinite Chrome tab? Got it, bro. Oh no, my CPU is overheating. That's okay, you can get a liquid cooler. Now that's not even a computer. I imagine how many of you would end up buying a system if that happened. But it doesn't end there. Now let's talk about performance. Look at this simulation. It's showing you how hot air escapes your PC. Very good explanation of why PCs have better performance. But it hasn't given you an explanation. Let me give you a small break. This video is shot in 4K, multiple layers and a lot of animation. And now a 3D simulation with millions of air particles. Sounds like a lot, right? Although we did it in less than a week. Hey, I can do this too. But wait, we haven't talked about the best part yet. Let's all just take a moment to appreciate how undeniably kick-ass they look. Dude, this is where RGB was born. Excuse me, Mr. Capitalist Company. The laptop you gave wasn't that great. Can I get a PC instead? You seriously want to buy a branded pre-built? Here, let me show you some videos. I specifically spec two 8 gig sticks. And look what they gave me! Look at all those empty screw holes! Pretty terrible looking cable management. The CPU cooler is poo-poo garbage. The VRM heatsink has actually been ripped off. Look at <laughs> it. Now look, look, go to the internet, search for the best hardware recommendations for and then enter your software name, read a few blogs and watch some YouTube videos. We also have a lot of YouTube videos you can watch. Now go to our website, we have a foolproof configurator. Play around with your budget and pick your components. No, you don't have to buy it from us, but shoot us an email and we'll let you know if we can make it better. Now you just have to watch some YouTube videos on how to build a custom PC and you should be good to go. But if you're not up for all of that hassle, you're already at the right place. Thank you for watching. Oh yeah, I think, you know?